freedom lovers, Love and Chuck here. I just wanted to uh, explain what's going on with my build. I got a little hitch in my giddy up. I uh, was going to put it together and hopefully mill it out this weekend, but I ran into a couple problems. Uh, first of all, I was going over from my parts for the kit, and when I opened the bag, I dumped them out in this little magnetic tray that I usually dump my parts for my build in so I don't lose any that way. And while I was setting everything out, I noticed that instead of having three pairs of these type of uh, guide pins, I only had two, uh, and as it showed in the instructions. And, and by the way, they have these instructions online. You can go look at them, which is kind of handy. Um, at first, I thought maybe I only needed a third set if I had the AR-10 kit also, but as I read further, I, I would need all three for either build. Uh, and I sent an email to them explaining that I know I didn't lose any because I dumped them straight into this tray as I opened the package. Uh, I don't know if I'll have to pay for, for them. I did look and you can get the whole three sets plus the screws for 25 bucks with plus shipping. So I, I don't know if I have to buy that or if I can just buy the two nipples if they don't believe that I, that I was shorted them. Uh, also, as I was looking at some other stuff, <coughs> I noticed in the videos these were all clearly marked kind of like they are here. The one, two, three, and the white lines, but mine weren't that way. Uh, so I tried to find one of my old grease pens, but I couldn't find any color other than blue or black, and that wouldn't work too well. So I uh, stole a couple of my kids' crayons and colored in white, but the, the top notch in there, I couldn't get the crayon in there very well. And uh, I ran out of white one, and I used red over here, which for this, I don't think is going to be quite as important, but they still stand out. Um, also now, they sell these completely unanodized, and you can save yourself either $15 on the AR-15 jig or $30 on the combo AR-15, AR-10 jig. And honestly, I think that would be a good deal because after a few builds, this is going to be worn out and not look nearly as nice as it does now. I mean, it is beautiful when you first get it out, but after a couple of builds, this uh, anodizing is going to wear off just from the rubbing of the router over the plate. <clears throat> uh, then I also ran into one other problem as I was sorting stuff out here. I had got some Mid Mystic Metal Mover, which I used a lot when I was in high school and in my dad's shop. Yeah, it was good stuff. It didn't smell nasty and it worked real well. But when I looked at it, I noticed it says reformulated, and then it doesn't recommend it for aluminum. So I wouldn't be able to use this. Uh, several builds I noticed them using eight WD-40, which I didn't really want to use either, but on the 5D site, the videos they show, they're using WD-40, so I thought I might as well go with that, but since I'm going to have to wait for those pins, I'll probably order some more specific cutting metal, that way I don't use up all my WD-40. There was a few things I wanted to mention about build. the Daytona Tactical Lower. Oh. When I was taping it up, I went to use my work block that I use for putting in the lower parts kit and stuff like that, and I went to put it in, and it is extremely snug. Uh, it takes a good bit of wiggling and pulling to get it to come apart. I've never had a lower do that, so I was a little bit concerned uh, that a mag might do the same thing. This is a Lancer mag, probably the best mag you can get, and it slides in just fine. Smooth as butter. Uh, this is a real piece of crap here. Uh, I can't remember who makes it. It's not worth mentioning, uh, other than don't buy them. Uh, it, it's it's a, a perfect design for what my son would have liked in the hundred first. I, I painted some lancers to basically have the window right there like that for him, uh, and this one fits fine too. It, it, that's a little bit snugger, but like I said, it's a piece of crap magazine. The Lancer, no problem. 
Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a like or make a comment. Thanks a lot. Schneedelwutz. Schneedelwutz. Schneedelwutz.